How's it going guys? It's Manny King here and welcome to your Voice My Choice episode 1, an old show on a brand new game. And I kind of wish that I brought this show back a lot sooner. I had some of you guys actually request that I bring it back. So I guess some of you went through my Modern Warfare 3 videos and got reminded of the show or something. But I, I was pretty happy that you guys wanted to see this show back. So I wanted to debut it last week, but unfortunately when I asked a friend of mine to recommend me a class, he asked me to use the chicken, which I had nothing unlocked. So I basically had to play even more games than I thought I would have, and it wasn't ready for last week. So I was able to finish the 20 games that I play with the class uh, last week on like a Friday. So I said, you know what, I'll just wait until next Wednesday. And here it is. So your voice, my choice, episode one. I'm glad that some of you guys wanted to see it back and in case some of you guys may not know what your voice my choice is it's basically a show where you guys recommend me classes and I will use them and uh, it could be the strangest classes or it could be just a class that you have always wanted to try but never really wanted to give it a try yourself I'll give it a try for you and see what the best game I can get with it in 20 games could be so the class that I had uh, Shaman recommend me, which I've talked about Shaman multiple times, which he's in this gameplay actually. I think he gets a final kill cam of the game. Uh, not entirely too sure, but he's also using the Chickum. But he recommended me to use the Chickum with a silencer and extended mags. And my perks are Heartline, Toughness, Scavenger, and Dexterity. I'm using C4 and EMP. And my score streaks are Counter UAV, Orbital, and Escort Drone. And I asked him, why didn't you want me to use Flag Jacket? Because usually he always uses Flag Jacket. Because when I first got this class, I thought this was his uh, primary class. I thought it was just a class that he uses. And he said, no, I just didn't want to give you Flag Jacket because I didn't want it to be too easy. I said, okay, that's understandable. But then when I asked him, why did you give me an EMP? He says, oh, I always know how you get annoyed of EMP. So, eh, why not? So, eh, this is one time where I threw an EMP like crazy. There were literally times in other gameplays uh, that I'm not going to show, but I would throw EMPs everywhere. Every time I would pick them up, EMP, EMP, EMP. It was probably just this sweet, uh, I don't know, this sweet feeling that I'm no longer the one getting EMP'd. And if I did, I would just EMP myself and it would go away. It was just so amazing to have the power of the EMP because the EMP is just so annoying. I've been recently playing, I've recently started playing League a lot more often, and I cannot tell you how many times I have been EMP'd in the last two days. It's insane how many people love the EMP in League, which I can understand because in League, if someone gets a sentry gun and you don't have an EMP on, that is going to be pretty tough to actually take off. And right here, I love the spawns in Hydro. I really wish that there was like a Hydro 24-7. Hydro has really become one of my favorite maps in the game. I think it's taken over Raid just due to the fact that I play Raid almost every single day. And for, I don't know how many times I play Raid in a day when I play this game. But Raid, obviously, is probably the most popular map on the game, which it's a good map, I can't blame it for being popular, but I really wish that uh, a lot more people liked Hydro because it's so easy to take advantage of the spawns because even when they're spawning, let's say at C or A, you can run into those cargos that are on either side and they'll still spawn back there. These spawns are really bad and I think that's why I really like it. Um, they're just really bad spawns that I love to take advantage of. And once I saw that 20 kill streak, I was like, I wonder if I could go nuclear with this guy's class. I really was hoping to go nuclear with it. And unfortunately, if this C4 would have killed anybody, maybe I would have been able to do so. But right here, I noticed that that guy's using a shotgun. And I told a friend of mine that was playing with me, I was like, that's the guy that's going to kill me. And he said, no, don't be so pessimistic. Come on, you can do it. You, you can go nuclear. And I was like, no, that shotgun guy is going to kill me. I saw this guy in the orbital. I didn't know if he was a shotgun guy. And I thought I put enough bursts into him. Just check him. It's a really good gun. Usually it kills to one to two bursts. And it did not kill him. I don't know. I guess I should have shot him more. And right here, he's going to kill me again because I thought I put enough bullets into him. But nope. He kills me again. He's just eating bullets for me. I don't know. Maybe he just eats chicken bullets for a living or something. I I have no explanation on how he kept killing me. But, uh, yeah, you guys can leave your class recommendations in the comment section below. It can literally be the most weirdest uh, class combinations or maybe the most 
powerful class combinations. Maybe you want me to use like an A94 with a whole bunch of awesome perks and maybe swarm dogs and note star or something. You want me to, you want me to go insane with the kill streaks or something. I don't know. It really just depends on what you guys want to see me use. It really just comes down to you. And that halftime transition needs to get better. I need to find a different way to actually do that transition. And talking about transitions, let's actually make one into a montage. So. Uh, I've mentioned the montage several times and I wanted it to be released this month around the 20th, 21st, but I noticed that's a weekend, so uh, maybe it'll be on the 22nd, I don't know, I'm still thinking about maybe delaying it because I've actually been working on it uh, every time that I have free time. But I've noticed as of late, there's a lot of people that want to be in this montage. Because <laughs> it was originally just going to be three people, and then we extended it to four, and I think we're bringing in the fifth. And there's going to be a person in the montage that you might not have expected to be in it. Uh, so look out for that. And I don't know, if it does get delayed, I'll, be, I'll probably release another video talking about it. But I'm hoping that it doesn't take... Uh, so long that maybe I just completely don't want to do it anymore because that's the thing with uh, That's the thing about me that sometimes when a thing takes too long for me to do I just say you know what I'm not gonna do it anymore, and I just abandon it and <laughs> Shaman why did you not give me flag jacket? I'm just so used to having a class where uh, I have flag jacket on every single first perk so I lit I'm literally not scared of uh, explosions it's like oh you're throwing me a frag I'm, I'm not moving. You're throwing a C4 to me? I ain't budging. But now that I'm going to be using classes like this, I know that I'm going to be have to be fearful of explosions because if not, I'm going to run into claymores. Boom. I'm going to run into bouncing betties. Boom. I'm going to run into a frag. Boom. <laughs> so I'm really going to have to get used to not playing with uh, flag jackets. So like I said, comment section, leave your class recommendations. Thought I had the C4 there. But um, in future episodes, I might be using a friend's account just due to the fact that he's Master Prestige and it will be a lot easier for me to actually have everything unlocked because I'm still going to see if I can try Prestiging and maybe get myself to Master Prestige and mm, an RPG, everything is just falling apart now. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping that in future episodes I'll be able to use this account. I don't know, I haven't asked him yet. Uh, I'll probably be asking him later on today to see if I can. Uh, I'm hoping I can because it will be just a lot easier because if I'm level 15 and someone recommends me like the AN94 that I don't, I don't unlock until like level 54 or 55, I don't know when you unlock it, it would just take forever for that episode to really come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I noticed annotations haven't really been working for me as of late, so if you want to see the next episode or the previous episode, just like the, check the description box. I usually put uh, links in the description boxes to specific episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And like I mentioned, in the comment section, put your class recommendations. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys, this is Manikin. Peace.